Hi everybody and welcome back to the Goody Pantry. So today we're going to be making tea cakes. Now these are great. I love making homemade tea cakes. I've made them for years and they're really good toasted up with a bit of butter or jam, whatever way you like them. There's your ingredients on the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get straight into the video. So here's our ingredients. So we've got our flour. I've got sultanas. I've got sugar. I've got yeast. I've got my salt. I've got mixed spice, I've got one egg, and I've got the zest of one orange. And we've also got our warm milk. So what you want to do first is get your, so I'm using the standard mixer. If you're doing it by hand, just do the same things, but obviously by hand. So you want your flour and your salt in first, and then you're going to give that a good stir to get the salt incorporated into the flour. Once you've got that done, then you're going to put all your ingredients, all your dry ingredients in together. So you've got the, the yeast, the sugar, we've got the spices. We've also got our orange zest, or you can use lemon zest as well, whichever one you've got. And then we're going to go in with our sultanas. So you want to give that another good mix. And then we're going in with our milk. And then we've got our egg. Now as soon as you've got that in, get it on the mix on the lower setting. And just give this around 30 to 40 seconds. All you're doing here, you're letting the flour incorporate in. Because if you put it on higher, you just got to find the flour and everything shooting out of the bowl. So for the first 30 to 40 seconds, just on a low speed until you can see it come together. And then we're going to crank it up to a low medium speed. And then we're going to finish on a medium speed. So we'll just crank this up now and you can see it's moving onto the next speed up. And it's starting to bring everything in from the sides. So what you want to do at this point is you're just going to let this mix until everything's come together. So as you can see, everything is a little bit at the bottom, but it's just coming together now. And once the bowl's clean like this and it's all brought together, now you're going to need this for 10 minutes. And then this is what it looks like after the 10 minutes. It should be slightly sticky, but enough to keep it shape as it's mixing. So once you've done the 10 minutes, then you're going to switch this off. And what you want to do is get it covered with a cloth and then pour it in your warm place. I'm putting mine inside the oven with just the light on. I'm going to leave that for one hour. So here it is after the hour and you can see it's more than doubled in size. So now we're going to go on to the next step. So what you want to do is get a good coat of flour on your surface because this will be a slightly sticky dough. So once you've got that done, then you want to get your bread mix out of your bowl. And then just with your hands, what you're going to do, you're going to, with your fingers, sorry, you're just going to knock all the air out of that door. And then once you've got that done, just fold it all up and bring it back and roll it back round into a bowl. Once you've got that done, we're then going to weigh our dough. So mine's came to 1 kilo, 113. So this is going to make 8 large tea cakes. So what you want to do now is just gently roll it into a log shape. It just makes it easy for you to cut. And then we're going to cut it into 8 pieces. And what we're looking for is between 143 and 145 grams per tea cake. So once you've got them all weird, so now we're going to shape them. So what you want to do is just roll them into a ball like this. And then get it onto the area of your surface what's still flowered. And then once you've got that done, what you want to do is just cover these with a cloth. Literally for four to five minutes. Just helps them shape a lot better. So this is after the four to five minutes. So what you want to do is just take 
one of your TKX and start pressing it down and shaping it out. And then you're gonna put it flat and you're gonna press it down with your hands. Now, if it does like this and it sticks, it just means you need a little bit more flour. So just pat it down and keep pressing it down until you get a larger disc shape. Now this will be around an inch in thickness at this point is what you're looking for. So once you've got that done, you're just going to repeat this process with the rest. And then once you've got them all pressed out, you're going to get them onto a tray. Now you want to allow a lot of space, so I'm just doing four per tray. And you want to make sure they've got a good gap between each of it, just like this. And once you've got that done, if you need to reshape them, just make them sh shape back if you need to. Cover them with a cloth, and these are going to go back in, the, in your hot place, sorry, for another hour to prove. When you take them out, you're going to get your oven to temperature, which should be 180, gas mark 5, 200 regular or 370 Fahrenheit, and then get these back in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, or until they come out looking like this. As soon as you can at this point, you want to get them under a curling rack and leave them to curl for 5 minutes. So while that's doing that, so this part is optional, so this is just a quick glaze for the top. So here I've got couple of tablespoons of sugar and a couple of tablespoons of hot water and then if you want to you can just give them a nice brush on the top it just makes them look nice so then once you've got that done once it's curled get one cut in half get it in the toaster and give it a toast up just like this and then this is the best way for me to have them is just purely with some butter while they're hot but another good way is with jam on or marmalade whichever way you want to do it and then once you've got that done, just get stuck straight in. Now, be sure to get one of these because from my experience, when you make fresh bread, and especially when they've got spice in like this, it won't be long before the rest of the house smell them and they all duck straight in. So there you have them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give these a try and let me know in the comments if you do how they turned out for you. So yeah, these are absolutely great. I love a toast of tea cake. And the homemade ones are a lot better than the shop-bought ones. They just have a lot more flavour. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. If there's anything you want to see me make, let me know in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one.